<laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. I hope. I hope this is gonna work. Um. There is a uh, common misconception that uh, autistic people are incapable of or do not ever do or give eye contact. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that in a video because I actually haven't discussed that yet. And so I wanted to share as an autistic person who is capable of eye contact, uh, what that's like for me uh, because uh, there are situations where I do and don't do eye contact eye contact and there are situations where I actually fake it uh, so first let me start by explaining that I don't do eye contact with very many people uh, for the most part it would probably be people I'm very close to or intimate with uh, mostly Dave uh, because eye contact, like real eye contact staring into the colors of the person's eye, feels very intimate to me. And it's almost like being undressed in a way. Not, I don't know. Like, so it's like the person, like, it's like you give them x-ray vision. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's an awkward feeling and very intimate to, to do with a stranger. So... Most of the time when I am having a conversation with someone I don't know well, I may glance at someone's eyes, uh, but for the most part, I'm looking usually uh, around their face somewhere. I'll pick a place on the face. They might have glasses and I'll pick like somewhere over here or like above their ear, a piece of hair on their uh, forehead or their chin or something or their nose. Uh, my mom, when I was little, she would tell me to look at her nose and she explained that that was so she would know I'm listening. And so that's the other thing about eye contact is, is I guess, you know, when I say I fake it, it is something that I perform because I know that it is kind of something that a lot of people um, depend on for communication. Uh, so at least, uh, at least, if uh, I, I, you know, I look at the person or look in the direction of the person, they'll know I'm listening. Uh, so there's that. Uh, but, you know, it's not something that I do for my own benefit. It can be kind of distracting sometimes. And there are actually people every now and then that I literally cannot even look around their eyes or their face. Very rarely. It just, like, I just remember there was one person a few years ago and I just had this horrible, creepy feeling um, and I just, I don't even know how to explain that either. I can't put it into words, but it was just very uncomfortable. Um, and, and so there's just this, there's that part of it. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the other thing, you know, is, you know, for example, like the other day I was at a coffee shop and the environment is loud for me to be able to hear the conversation well sometimes you know if there's like someone making coffee and cups are clanking and the deli fridges are on and the um you know all the all the refrigerators all the air conditioning units the people talking quietly just all the noises of a coffee shop sometimes it can get a little louder at times and then it can become hard to hear and so if i'm looking at someone's mouth. Sorry, I went back to the coffee shop in my head when I was trying to describe that and I got a little distracted. Uh, so, you know, I may look at someone's mouth. Uh, I wish I could read lips, like really read lips, but, you know, if I am having difficulty hearing what someone's saying over the noise of a loud uh, place, sometimes the mouth can be a clue if I've misheard a word, what word someone might have said, because you can kind of tell a little bit about what someone said based on the shape of their mouth even if you can't read lips or at least I can uh, so that's another thing a lot of times I am looking at a person's mouth when they're talking to me um, uh, and then you know there are situations you know where I will do more effort to look like I'm making eye contact maybe at work 
or in any kind of professional setting when I am very on and that's I guess another part of like masking I guess but but that part of it is pretty unconscious at this point it's been trained into me for years since I was very very young and it's just something I instinctively just do. It's just I pick a pace, place on the face, and it's usually not the eyes, but it'll be somewhere that the person can know I'm listening and just go with it. Uh, so that's what I do for probably 95% of the humans I meet and interact with. Um, not that I meet and interact with that many people face to face. <laughs> Gosh, I love the internet. It likes to do so many things with just like Skype and email. It's brilliant. Um, so that kind of helps some of those things. Uh, but anyway, uh, those are just some of my personal thoughts and experiences with eye contact. What eye contact is like for me. I would love to know what eye contact is like for you because eye contact is different for everyone. Like I said, there are some people who just have just different, a very different experience of eye contact where they just don't do eye contact ever or you know very rarely there may be people who don't ever fake eye contact uh, and, there may, and there are others that do uh, and there are also probably people who say they never have any difficulty with eye contact at all uh, and if this is all just going to be different depending on who you talk to and so this was just my experience uh, anyway guys I will uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll know to do like more of this kind of video try to figure out what you know what you guys want or if, or if you have a suggestion for a video leave it in the comments below uh, and share your experience with eye contact in the comments below uh, and I will talk to you next week bye